we go. Hello and welcome to the highlights of match two of the Abu Dhabi T10. It's a match between the Northern Warriors and the Morrisville Sump Army. And Sump Army won the toss and they elected to bowl first. Match number two of the opening day. Jason Holder with the ball. Oh, that is wild. That one that skids on, but nicely played. Kenar Lewis, test to the outfield, and it's quick. Quick enough. Down towards long off, should be the first, and will be the first taken. Legitimate delivery. Just a little bit in terms of the connection, the open blade, and not quite the timing Lewis was looking for. A little start, in and out, three fours for his 18. Really quick and flick the wrist through it. Fuff won't get to that one. That is an unbelievable shot. Over top of mid off, who's up inside the circle, down to the boundary for four. Oh, that's uh, skied and should be easily caught. It is. Okay, so it's picked up another wicket. He always picks up wickets, this guy's. No, you said hazy, they need to get on with it. They do. And then Hose felt this was time to flick the switch. And he's made the mistake against Case Army. So he's uh, got to double figures, and that's it. Out for 10. The ball stumping opportunity. House is extremely quick behind those sticks. And he's out of the ground. He's lost his balance. There's no way back. For another duck. 47 for three. Oh, that's picked up. That's picked up superbly. Whipped away for six runs. Two. Call of yes. Yeah. And might be out. Could well be out. That Zoglo did beautifully to get back over the top of the stumps. This is going to be uh, a very interesting call, this one. Yeah, we just need to get a confirmation of that, I think, just to check the other side to make sure he did have the ball in his hands. No problem at all. Another one gone. Plenty of acreage down there. Four to start the over. Fuff to proceed. Hard down the ground, airborne this time. Fairly straight and far. Picked up. It's gone high. Has it gone all the way? It has. Oh, he'll dine out on that, won't he? What a shot. Nice crunch off that piece of willow. Full toss. Slapped around the offside. That's gone for another six. That's the third of the over. No. Kareem. Oh, he's just hammered that one down the ground for six more. That is brilliant work. It's gone over the top of uh, short third man and racing to the boundary. From Colin. Oh, another good Yorker. And he's renowned for that. The shot, and I think it could be gone. Going to have a look at this. Certainly going to have a look upstairs. So that partnership of 43 is uh, a thing of the past. Nishan goes for 12, 98 for 5. Working hard on the onside. He wants two more. Nice attacking fielding. Good running, though. Very good running. Good support running. So that's the end of 10 overs. The Warriors end up with 103 for 5. Munro did a very good job with 36 off 15. Nice work from him. Two fours and three sixes. 103 on this track now, I'm not sure is enough.
Not too much to report actually for the Warriors. The only player who made any inroads was Colin Munro, not out 36 off 15 deliveries. 20 for Zazai, 18 for Lewis. They lost wickets at the wrong time. One thing they did do is they scored 45 runs off the last three overs, which got them to 103 for five. So it's a total which is not a great total, but it's runs on the board, which you never know in these T10 games. A quick look at the bowling for the Sump Army. Holder was a bit expensive with his two overs, going for 25 runs. One wicket for Janat off uh, just two overs, one for 26. The star was uh, Case Ahmed. He bowled brilliantly, two overs, five dot balls, two for 12, and he was the only bowler who really made some inroads. So the total was posted was 103. That means the Sump Army need 104 runs to win, and of course, they'll have 10 overs. Matthews. Short and wide, he's very fit, Fuff DBC won't have any problems uh, tracking that single down. Cracks that away, that's a good shot, strong shot, well timed, bit of a tease, ball wins. Line off the first over. Crack, hammered that. Go and fetch that one for starters. Full toss, hammered away. Oh, that would have been a blind had it been taken. Oh, he's hit that high. This should be out. Could be a good catch. Oh, it's comfortably caught. Not quite out of the middle of the bat. Squirting away off the outside half. Settled underneath it nicely. Pouches it. And that is the end of Andres Hulse. Oh, he set that up as well. Might be another one. Settling underneath that. And another catch. Two and two for Hose. Sure if it was pace off early on or not. I think so. Just went through the shot a little bit. Held in the surface a touch. And now the Morrisville Sump Army are 23 for two. Down the ground, has it gone far enough? Yeah, that's a wonderful shot. That is terrific work. Ibrahim, six runs. Gone big with that one, but gone very high. Has it gone far enough? That's the question. I don't think it has. No. That's another wicket for Nietzsche in his first over. He's picked up two. He's only conceded eight runs as well. That is a top first over. No issues whatsoever. Umpire can concentrate on the other end. We don't have DRS, remember. And round the boundary, comfortably underneath that. And all of a sudden, Sump Army are sinking. 31 for three. Ah, playing with the spin, that's gone for four. That's a very good start of the over. Oh, he's put it in the same spots. And it's the same shot and the same result. 10 off the over, 45 for three. Challenging for bowlers. There's a miss hit. Oh no, another one. Is that hose again? Finding the edge of the bat, not finding the middle again. And straight to the big hands of Adam Hose. Three catches so far, four wickets to four. Karim Janat the last, and it's 46 for four. High, might have another, has he? Straight to the man at mid wicket. Oh, goodness me, needed a couple, needed a couple. Zazai this time holds on to it. Mitten's got a double. Casual as you like, Zazai, and it almost cost him. Into that night sky, no, it's not easy, but... Oh, yeah, he's got a lucky little rebound and holds on. He knows he has uh, got out of jail with this one. Takes it in the end. It's the end of the dangerous holder who doesn't trouble the scorers. Gone for a blob. And the captain does. That's a serious piece of timing from Mo and Ali. Oh, and he needs to. What's he striking? Let's call it 160. Gets it up and over. Starts with a boundary, does Mo and Ali. Swung away, leg side. Has he got enough? He has. Onto the bank, what a start to the over from Mo. Tries, 
doesn't get a hold of it and Neesham with a great catch terrific running catch James Neesham ends the innings of Moen Alley yeah look at the length he was looking for yeah it really is right in the slot for him and he's just dragged it a bit on the inside of the blade and uh, you're right Dooley it's a smart catch really good given the nature of the ball it is a bit greasy straight away goes down to long on and Munro takes the catch oh, I was just checking that front foot a little he's tightish but it's okay thought for a moment we have uh, Adam Hose out there in that posse for his fourth catch not to be Munro tidies up and it's all a bit of an anti-climax here Basil you're out of here for a blob golden one okay Samad is on strike he swings high, hat-trick maybe, hat-trick maybe for Matthews. Neesham takes the catch. Skipper's got a hat-trick. And the Samp Army are falling apart at the back end. Warriors getting closer to a W. Yeah, look at the O's, a lot of W's there because it started with a wide. Seventh hat-trick in T10 history. In the Abu Dhabi T10, remember we had a couple of, uh, of the T10s in Sharjah back in O. Case gone for a blob, and it's uh, that score, 85 for 8 now. That will go all the way. Finish with a 6, but uh, too little too late for the Sump Army. It'll be the Warriors who join the Deccan Gladiators with wins on day one of the Abu Dhabi T10, powered by Sat Sport News. So 94 for 8 in reply by Morrisville Sump Army. Kraus and Duplessis played really nicely together at the start. They were brisk, put 23 together, and then suddenly wickets fell. And then it was just wickets falling. And Ali, the Mo and Ali was the lone ranger, 37 off 23 deliveries. So the captain was the one who tried to force the issue. Now Dibullah was not out 13 at the end. And Hadzat Glow was not out for one. And not enough runs, I'm afraid. The bowling was really good for the Warriors. Matthews got a hat-trick. That was outstanding work from him, two overs. 3 for 19, his uh, full number, and Nisham, wicket off the first ball, got another wicket in the first over as well, finished with 2 for 19, and Matun, he bowled brilliantly, 2 for 12 off two overs, only conceded one run in the first over he bowled at a really crucial time. And a look at the match summary, the Northern Warriors, 103 for 5, Munro terrific with his 36 not out after just 15 balls. Case Army, 2 for 12 was uh, outstanding. Morris for Sump Army, 94 for 8 was all they could get. Captain, eight, 37 off 23 balls. Matthews picked up 3 for 19. And Matoon, 2 for 12. And Nishan picked up a couple of wickets in his first over. And in the end, it was the Northern Warriors winning by 9 runs. Thanks for being with us. Plenty of action in that highlights package. We'll catch you next time. Oh, here we go.